Hey guys, welcome back to Tinker Talk. Today I'm going to show you two music playing apps that are my personal favorites. They're both freely available and they play different types of music. So let's just jump right into it. The first one we're going to play is called the Extended Module Player, also known as XMP for short. It plays classic mod tracker music, files that end in MOD, S3M, IT, and several others. Simply choose the folder and then you can select a song any song that you would like or something that might be a personal favorite of yours. Once you click it, if you can hear the music now, it just starts to play. Just touching the screen will switch between each of the channels. You can see each channel here, and you can also just mute any channel just by selecting it. Simply touch again to unmute. Attach touch the screen again, and then you can see the pattern again, and you're right back to where you were. If you'd like to select another song, simply back up and you can scroll through your music and just simply select another song. Now you can see here the volume bars, each channel, and they're even over here, these little dots are hard to see, but it's showing you the balance between the left and right. Now I really enjoy this program. It's simple to use. It's nothing super flashy, but it's really probably your best option if you enjoy tracker style music. So we'll stop this, and we'll actually close out of it, and then we'll jump into the next one. Now this one, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure if it's called Modo or Modo or something totally different. So if you do know what it's called, please leave a comment. But this is great for playing music ripped from a lot of video games, from the Super Nintendo to the Commodore 64 to the Sega Genesis to just a few others. Simply click the little disc icon to select your file. And here I have pulled up already some soundtracks from the Super Nintendo game Super Mario Adventure or RPG. Simply click it. Now it shows nothing but the time in the track. There are several settings you can choose to select how long it'll repeat, if it repeats, volume, several other settings, but this is it. It just overlays on your wallpaper. Nothing flashy, nothing super special about it. In order to stop it or select another song, you need to pause. And it takes a second to pause the actual music, so you probably heard a delay there. Select the disc again, and then we could go up a directory. We could go to the SID folder, which is Commodore Music, and we'll do International Karate. Go ahead and pause that. So those are the two apps. I really enjoy both of them because they give you different styles of music to play, um, different formats. This one will also play some of the mod tracker music, but again, it's not a whole lot to look at. It's very simple, very plain, and really just this information up here. Um, but I hope you like them. They're both free, so there's no cost to any of them. There's really no restrictions, and they do a great job. They're very small applications, and they run great on the Tinkerboard. So if you like those, feel free to download them, give them a try, and leave me any comments, and tell me what your thoughts are on them. Thank you, guys.